Peace, family. SEK the Homesteader here with another video. All right, you guys. I hope you guys are doing well. Today is a beautiful day, and Essie decided to sit out on her deck and enjoy this weather. So y'all know, Essie about to go full throttle out in that yard, right? <laughs> but I said today I wanted to take the time out and just sit and enjoy this beautiful sun the s-u-n that gives life yes without the s-u-n there's no life all right you guys so in this video essie is doing a seed haul from my local gardening center which i love they have the cutest little things in there for the garden they have everything that you need um for your garden uh, more things than Lowe's and Home Depot. They just have really, really neat things in there. Just really neat things. But I love to get their seeds because a lot of times they package their seeds and they know me, so they give me an extra couple of te uh, teaspoons of uh, seeds. <laughs> and sometimes they have them packaged up already, so I enjoy that as well. And they just, they just are um, a sweet group of people. I love my... um. I have two local um, gardening centers, uh, nurseries that I really like um, here. So um, let's see what seed hole did Essie do today. Okay, so, oh gosh, I don't forgot. Well, let's get the brown bags. Let's do the brown bags first because I love to go get um, the brown bags. And this is the Mountaineer White Runner. That's a bean. So that's a nice size bag and it um this bag this is oh gosh I don't know if this is a half a pound yeah probably so two dollars and thirty five cent but that's a lot of seeds that's a lot of seeds there and we got and I know I already have some of these seeds already but y'all know how we are we seed hoarders this is the golden um wax bush bean that's that um uh the green bean that's yellow <laughs> that's the best way i could describe it and then this one is the henderson bean and i actually forgot what color is the henderson bean so if you guys remember the henderson bean let me know but i will definitely be sowing that seed just to um remember exactly what it is and that's the tender green we all sow tender greens so that's some more tender greens and um these packets here were 95 cent each um these are i got the straight neck cucumbers and the uh what is this the space mastu the space mastu cucumber i don't know which one that is let me know if you guys know which one that is i got the bib lettuce we all know about the bib lettuce i got uh butternut squash there we go. And everybody know the romaine lettuce. And the salad bowl lettuce. Let's see what else we got. We got the straight straight neck squash. The straight neck squash. That's a heavy pack. And I got some tomatoes, which we I know I have so much um, tomato seeds. But I got some more romas. So I'm definitely going to be sowing um, seeds of roma. I think my... Let's see, my first year and my my first year, I got lots of Roma tomatoes. So I'm planning on probably planting seeds on my left side of the trellis where I always plant my tomatoes or I might shift, I might shift. But I plan on planting a lot of Roma um, tomatoes. These, to me, these are prolific. And I hear they're great for um, spaghetti sauce. And then I got the Mar Globe tomato that's a big um tomato and the marion tomato so that is my seed haul and i think i told you guys i think our, our last frost is a i think it's either april 8th and i think um they said something about april 11th i think one year it was like april 11th you know when you look it up on an almanac or whatever them things is they give you like two different dates but anyway it'll be here soon 
So y'all know Essie gonna do a marathon of sowing seeds. I did work out, excuse me, in the yard on my right side. So I um weeded out uh two of the raised beds over here where I planted the celery and the Brussels sprouts. So um I'm sure I have celery seeds. So what I'm gonna do is is when the weather breaks. I'm going to sow celery seeds along with carrots, more carrots over there, and more lettuce over there. And then the other raised beds, I have to figure out what I want to sow in those two because I still have kale growing in, in one of them. Then I have to decide what I'm going to do with um, my gray buckets that's down the line on the fence of the right side. And... Uh, let's see the uh, my fire rings I'm gonna try gooseberries again I'm gonna try those again and see how those work they did come in but they came in late so um I'm not sure if I'm gonna do seed starts I don't think I want to do seed starts I might just give it a go and just see how it works out um, if I'm able to transplant them um, at a later date I will try to do that but I guess I'll just do a little bit, but not much. I won't do much. But, um, so that's what I'm going to do on my right side. I'm going to flip, um, what I planted on my left side last year to my right side. So I'm going to do crop rotation with my blue buckets that's lined up on the first trellis area. And it'll be the same thing. It'll be my, my, um watermelons my cucumbers it'll be my tomatoes i'll have my pepper lane where the pepper lane is usually at um I, i'm thinking about letting my okra bed rest so i may be doing okra out there in the keyhole area and uh let's see what else so i'm thinking that two of my beds are gonna rest on this side I will be focusing more on the keyhole area because I have one, two, three, four, five, six. So I have six beds over there that's ready to go. So that's where I will be starting first. Then I will work my way into the, fence, the fencing area. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do over there at the new trellis area. I'm thinking... I'm kind of torn because I really wanted to do the, the no dig method and just put soil on top of cardboard and um, just see how that would do. But now, y'all know me, I'm raised bed crazy. I got the itch. I got the itch. So I'm thinking about putting um, two long um, raised beds on each side, but nice long ones. And um, I probably... I might be able to do like two long ones on each side, but um, I don't want them to be like uh, real wide. So they may be like two feet to three feet wide. That way I'll still have the walk space in the uh, middle of the trellis area. And I will I, most likely I'm going to mulch that up. So I think that's going to be the plan. I don't, I don't think I want to, I really did want to, but I don't think I, I, I would be disappointed if the if the no dig would just saw you on top of cardboard. I'm sure it'll work, but being that my 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 um land has a little slope, I'm afraid that I might lose that soil throughout the rain. <laughs> so I think it's best that I put um, my soil in um in some raised bed to uh, kind of contain it. So. Um, I think that's what I'm going to do. And maybe I will try that, that method where it is more flat, like to the left on the other side of the greenhouse area, which I definitely want to begin growing there. Um, I don't know how soon I'll be able to get to that area. Um, but it's so much just, uh, land that way. That's not, that's not being used. So I really look forward to, um, filling that up because there's a lot, there's a lot that I can grow. I can create a whole a whole nother garden on that end um and i'm still thinking about doing some more on that end because there's a lot on that end too so we'll see but um for the most part i am ready to get to the keyhole area first 
and then y'all know how we gardeners are we'll come up with all kind of ideas as we uh continue uh throughout this growing season but um i also want to share with you guys my new tool y'all know essie is not about being um, precise when it comes to planting seeds so i figured that this will give me some help <laughs> all right you guys so this is the seeding square and um i forgot when i purchased this but as i was moving my beehive equipment around i came across it and i said oh yes let me try this because y'all know essie essie just throw seeds out she don't really care where she put the seeds she just get them out there so i said well let me let me try this um this seed square and see how it works but um it's a it's an interesting gardening tool to have and if any of you guys have it and if you are using it please make sure you comment below and let me know but um it's a system it's a color coded system that teaches you um how to plant and it has different uh guides to go by throughout each color so as you can see the reds the yellow the blues um and the oranges okay so your reds are four your beets carrots onions leek microgreens parsnip radish salad greens scallions um and you would use the red areas to plant so i'll let you guys i'll sit that there for you guys to see right and then the yellow area is for um bean pole bean bush beet large the large ones bok choy celery mustard onion pea soybean spinach and turnips that's the yellow so the blue is for corn chives garlic lettuce rutabaga shallots sunflower and swiss chard the orange is for broccoli brussels sprout cabbage cauliflower eggplant kale peppers potatoes strawberries sunflower and tomatoes this is pretty pretty cool i think i i think i could do this i think i could do this you guys so this is your um seed square and remember i told you it's color coded so your square right here you're going to follow the directions of this and you're going to use your square to sow your seeds so this is your uh, seed square. Hey, you guys. <laughs> Look, y'all can see my eyes. Hold on. <laughs> All right, you guys. So this is the seed square. This is your little tool that you use to um, poke your soil like so. And I believe, yes, the measurements on how far you're supposed to poke your soil is right there. So according to what seeds you're sowing, you would use this um, seed ruler. I would call that a seed ruler. They probably have some other name on this uh, box for it. But you would use this to, to tell you um, how deep you need to go. And then you would use all of these different holes to sew whatever you're sewing and whatever color it tells you to sew the seed in. So, I think this is a really good um, gardening tool to have. Make sure you guys leave me a comment if you tried this, but Essie will be trying it. <laughs> I kind of like it. I really do. I really, really do. So, I think this is going to make my flower beds look so pretty. Everything is going to be so neat and organized. <laughs> All right. So, um, it's really simple. You just, um, you know, press it down on your soil. Then you use your uh, seed ruler and you just punch the hole with however deep you need to go. Okay. Um, and remember, most, most of the seeds, you don't need to go that far down. You don't need to go that far down unless they tell you that. Um, I forgot what they call it, deep, shallow, whatever it is. But for the most part, you need to just cover up your seeds with just a thin layer. You know, just sweep the soil on top. So, uh, let's see. Yep, so the instructions are on the back. And it's it's very simple, you guys. It's it's a it's a very simple um uh gadget to use. Really, really simple. So again, 
Essie is going to try this. She is going to give this a go. All right, so let me put my little C ruler back so that I don't lose it. Um, and I would definitely recommend this for... Uh, they say it's perfect for all types of gardens, all size gardens, all ages, all skills. So this is a, this is a good tool to have. This really is a good tool to have. Yep. Oh, so let me let me see this because I'm seeing it on a box right now, you guys. Hold on. Okay, so let's see. Is this open? No. Okay, so hold on because I want to use. I want to use the right name right okay so they, they calling this a wand so what you you want to poke the hole with your wand and then as you can see it has the little spoon where you could put your seeds to drop them in okay y'all see that all right so I think this is a very good um, gardening tool little system here um, that can be used by the whole family I think it's pretty cool so I look forward to um, to using this in the raised beds as well as my grow bags that's out there. Um, it doesn't have to be a square, um, what do you call it? I don't think, it, it don't have to be a square raised bed or or, or um, a rectangle one. Because I will be trying this in them, them circle grow bags right on out here just to see how it works. But um, yeah, I like this. And let's see. Oh, wait a minute. I think I missed something, you guys. Hold on. I see it on the box. Hold on, you guys. There we go. All right, you guys. So, here we go. Let's see if it goes this way. Yep. Yep. Okay, so, when you are... Okay, so this is the little disc or the cup, whatever you want to call it, to help guide you into the little hole. So what I'll do is I will hold this up so you guys can see that. So, and remember, this is on your little cup. That is kind of like a funnel. That's what it acts as. It's back here. So don't think when you, because you can easily mistake this for a stand. Y'all see that? Don't mistake that for a stand. It's a funnel. Okay, so here we go. This is how it go. You get your seeds, you scoop it up, you drop it in the funnel. The funnel is going to make sure the seed go into your seed hole once you use your wand to poke the hole. <laughs> All right, you guys. <laughs> so there you have it. Don't forget it's on the back and it's not a stand. It's a seed um, funnel. And make sure you put your wand back. All right, you guys. So, this week weather is gorgeous. It is just gorgeous. And tomorrow, I think it's going to be hotter. It's supposed to be a beautiful weekend. Um, and actually, I am scheduled to start rocking and rolling in my events. So, I'm looking forward um, to getting back out. Um, I didn't get out as much as I wanted to um, over the fall and winter. Um, I just did a few events. But, um... I got a couple lined up, so I'm looking forward to getting out there rocking and rolling with the boutique again. But um, overall, the weather is great. Everybody is great on my end. Um, I still have to finish off my little series, and I'm, I'm about to wrap it up because I think, like I said, I think I have one, two, I think I have two to three more projects. And I might come up with something else because as I, I continue to try to get back to normal in the house, I'm still finding things that I can I can just bring on out here and use in the yard. So who knows? That series might might wind up with 12 episodes. <laughs> All right, family. So I hope you guys are enjoying my little mini series on use what you got to grow. And um I'll be wrapping it up with that soon, though. But um, I hope you guys are really enjoying it. I could not wait to bring you guys um, those projects. And um, I feel like I'm in a really good uh, place, 
space right now. Everything is getting back to normal. Um, I've been um, in the shop. I've been uh, catching up with, with my clients and stuff like that. My clients is awesome. They were so understanding. Um, what else is uh, going on? Um, yeah, so right now, we just, we're just just getting ready to rock and roll out here in this garden, you guys. Um, I did um, start looking at trees. Um, oh, and matter of fact, you guys, I didn't have enough time yesterday, but I really wanted to. Walmart has trees for uh, 15 bucks. Get over there. They got pears and apples. So I'm thinking if I'm not too busy tomorrow, I may be able to get over there tomorrow. I'm ready to snatch me up um, a couple of trees because remember I told you guys I was so late trying to get my trees because of the um, remodeling and stuff. So I still have all my holes are empty deers and got to, to two of my compost bags where they ate the compost so i got to get trees in, um in those holes so um i might i might get to that tomorrow or i might even send one of my sons because he like to go out um after he uh gets his nap after work so i might even send him to to walmart um while he's in town to even pick up maybe uh maybe about four of them you can't beat that 14 dollars. you can't beat that and they also have some for uh, 20, 25, but they're more mature. But with them getting ready to come out of dormancy, they're going to take off anyway. So if you could get the $14 tree, get the $14 tree. Um, come to the end of the season, you will be able to find trees for $11, $12, $13 like I did last season, last summer. Um, I did, I, I think I caught three. Um, what is it um grow family network had um uh, sent a shout out gave us a heads up and i got two trees for i think it was 11 dollars or 13 no more than that um so the the 25 dollar trees some of the trees that's 35 dollars they're more mature trees but if you want the more mature tree you can get those towards the end of the season for um half that so it depends you know it depends on your budget um but like i said the ones that's 14 they they're not they're not uh they're not like um two feet tall they got some they got some height on them i would say maybe three to four um and they're 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 um strive you know over the spring and the summer so don't be too too worried about how established it is i mean you don't want you don't want twig twigs but um if you can save money that way do that um so that probably be uh, what I will do maybe tomorrow maybe tomorrow but if not that I'll be doing something out here in this yard moving stuff around um, things of that nature so um, yeah you guys I hope everybody is doing well I hope everybody's health is up to par. I see a lot of excitement out there in the garden community world everybody is so excited that the weather is about to break um, we did not have a harsh winter um, I know some people have very harsh winters. Um, we did get cold, but not 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 dangerously cold. Um, and it didn't really last long. For the last probably two, three years, our, our winters have been very, very mild. So um, I know everybody is excited. I'm excited. I cannot wait to see everybody's garden um, and catch up with everybody and um, see everybody. But I'm... Um, for the most part, everybody's been doing well, it looks like. And everybody's been keeping up with everybody. So, that's a good thing. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on my little seed haul. And also, my new gardening tool. And again, if you have used this tool, make sure you leave me a comment and let me know how you enjoyed this. So, I do look forward to using this out in the garden this um, season. So, I will try to refrain from throwing seeds all over the place. <laughs> all right, family. So, this is SEK, the homesteader. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I will see you guys on the next video. Make sure you thumbs up, like, subscribe, and hit that notification button. And SEK, the homesteader, we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.